All right, welcome back. In the last video, we figured out the equations for um, our moments, the internal moments. We had four unknowns and we need four equations. Okay, so let's get started with equation one. Looking back at the diagram, <clears throat> you know that joints B and C are gonna be in equilibrium, right? So that means um, the moment BA has to uh, equal the moment BC. In other words, the sum of moments about joint B is going to equal zero. And then the same thing, the sum of moments about joint C is going to equal zero. So that actually gives us equations one and two. So let's figure out what those equations are. So if I, if I looked at, let's do this in blue. If I looked at joint B, right, you had, um, you had a clockwise, so this would be counterclockwise. So you had these two moments, and these were moments BC and moments um, BA. So if I said the sum of moments about joint B is equal to zero, I'll just call this positive, then that means MBA uh, plus MBC is equal to zero. All right, and our equation for MBA was 2EI uh, over 15 2 EI over 15 times 2 theta B plus theta A. Um, and then our equation for MBC was uh, 2 EI over 20, uh, oops, 2 theta B plus theta C. This is a 2, right? 2 theta B plus theta C um, is equal to 120, right? So, Let's actually simplify this down a bit. I can actually pull out an EI, so let me do that. Let me pull out an EI, and then I'm left with uh, 2 over 15 times 2 theta B plus theta A uh, plus 2 over 20, 2 theta B plus theta C, and that's equal to 120, right? Um, if I distribute these, this 215 into this and the 2, 20, 2 over 20 into this, um, I should get something like, well, I should get something, uh, 2, that's 4 over 15 theta B plus 2 over 15 theta A plus uh, 4 over 20, that's 1 over 5 theta B plus 1 over 10 the C, right? 2 over 20 is just 1 over 10. Um, <clears throat> and this is equal to 120. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, the first thing is to combine like terms. Um, in this case, there's the theta B and theta, uh, oh, there's two theta Bs. Um, I'm going to write this in, well, I'll, I'll write this in order. So I'll do theta A first, then theta B, then theta C, then theta D, right? Just to keep everything in consistent. It's actually going to help us when we try to figure out a matrix to use. So 2 over 15 theta A, I'm just rewriting uh, theta A. Um, and then if you add this 4 over 15 and 1 fifth, uh, you should get 7 over 15 theta B plus 1 over 10 theta C, and then there's no theta D, so I'm just gonna write 0 theta D, right? That's equal to 120. So this is equation one. <clears throat> um, we need equation two, and equation two, we can get from our joint here, right? This joint, uh, that joint theta C, or joint C is equal to zero, so again, I'm gonna write Summation of moments about C is equal to zero, the, um, a joint C, right? And I can just call this positive. So that means MCB plus MCD is equal to zero, okay? So again, our, our equation for CB was 2EI over 20 times 2 theta C plus theta B um, I'm gonna let's let's do plus 120 up here I actually 
I actually uh, brought this over to the other side. I'm going to bring this back, so it's going to be 2EI over 20 times uh, the square brackets, and then plus 120 is equal to 0, right? So plus 120 uh, plus 2EI, this is the equation for MCD, right? Over 15 times 2 theta C plus theta D, um, and that's equal to 0. Uh, the first thing I can do is I can move this uh, 120 to the other side, and I can also factor out uh, EI, right? So if I move that over to the other side and I factor it out in EI, I should get this. EI, uh, 2 over 20 times 2 theta C plus theta B um, plus 2 over 15, um, 2 theta C plus theta D. Um, is equal to negative 120, right? And I can distribute this 2 over 20 again. I can simplify a bit. I should get EI is uh, 2, 4, that's, that's 4 over 20, so that's 1 over 5 theta C plus 1 tenth theta B plus, now we have 4 fifteenths theta C plus 2 15 theta D. Um, and that's equal to negative 120. <clears throat> and then I have EI. Again, I'm combining like terms and, and writing it in order. So there's no theta A, so I'm just going to write 0 theta A plus 1 tenth theta B um, plus 7 fifteenths theta C. And I got that from adding this theta C to this one fifth, right? Four over fifteen plus one over five is seven fifteenths. Plus two over fifteen theta d is equal to negative one twenty. So this is equation number two. Now for the last two equations, remember we have four unknowns. We need four equations. <clears throat> I'm going to look at these pins, okay? Because these pins we know they don't support moments. So there are no moments at pins A and D. In other words, I'm saying that MAB is equal to zero, right? Because this MAB is on this member and then it's equal and opposite to this joint A. And since there are no moments there, we can just say all the moments there are equal to zero. There's no moments at A. Same thing here. Pins don't support a moment. So any moment here needs to be equal to zero. So our, our equations 3 and 4 come from these pins. We're saying MAB is equal to 0 and MDC is equal to 0. So for equations 3 and 4, 3 and 4, uh, I'm saying MAB is equal to 0. So we have 2EI, our equation for A, 2AB or MAB is 2EI over 15 times 2 theta A plus theta B uh, and that's equal to 0 and then same thing M for the pin at D uh, we have uh, MDC is equal to 0 2EI over 15 um, 2 theta D plus theta C is equal to zero. So this is equations three and four. Oops, four, right? Um, let me rewrite these really quick. Um, I can pull out an EI here, and then if I factor in this two over 15, I'm gonna get um, four over 15 theta A plus 2 over 15 theta b, and there are no theta c and theta d, so I'm going to write 0 theta c plus 0 theta d is equal to 0. Same thing over here. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to factor out an ei, and then I'm going to get um, there's no theta a and theta b, so it's 0 theta a plus 0 theta b, 0 theta b <clears throat> plus 2 over 15 theta c. 
and then you have that remaining 2 times it's 4 over 15 theta d. And that's equal to 0. So these, this is equation 3, and this is equation 4. Okay. In the next video, we're going to use these equations, put them in matrix form, and hopefully figure out the internal moments. All right, see you then.